Welcome back to Wadcast, guys. Hope y'all doing well out there. I'm your host, Rod. And in this video, we're going to be doing a follow-up to a video that I made about a week ago regarding certain IRS whistleblowers that came out. I specifically covered one of the whistleblowers and his very serious claims against the DOJ and specifically Merrick Garland, claiming that Merrick Garland had influenced the prosecution of Hunter Biden, basically claiming that he got in the way to stop Vice. David Weiss, who was the prosecutor who was prosecuting his case in Delaware, the uh, whistleblower Shapley or Shapley, whatever his name is, uh, he claimed that Merrick Garland had used his influence to basically stop him from being prosecuted in other jurisdictions for other crimes like in D.C. And I told you guys in that video that there's a very easy way to verify who's telling the truth. And by the way, if Comer wants to get, get to the truth, he can subpoena um, Vice to come and testify in front of his committee in Congress. I would love to see that. And Vice will say, I never asked Garland to be made special counsel, and this IRS guy is lying. Okay? That's my bet. I'm telling you guys right now beforehand, that's what will happen. My prediction in my video was that Merrick Garland will be vindicated when David Vice comes out and tells everybody exactly what happened here. And we have his letter now. David Weiss has sent a response to Jim Jordan and other Republicans who have asked for a response regarding this question about the whistleblower's accusations. And we have the letter from him. And guess what? I was correct. Okay. Not that hard to, uh, hard to predict because uh, Merrick Garland is not somebody who would ever commit a crime. So Vice has come forward and said that he was not influenced, that he was not obstructed in his investigation into Hunter Biden, and he had all the freedom to do the investigation the way he liked. So this is the letter from the U.S. Attorney's Office for the District of Delaware. This is David Vice's office uh, speaking here. And it's actually Vice himself who wrote this, not one of his uh, lawyers who represent him, but he himself wrote this letter because uh, he wanted to address these ridiculous claims against the Justice Department and its impartiality and also directly attacking the Attorney General, claiming that the Attorney General tried to obstruct the Hunter Biden probe, which is not true according to his letter. First, this is uh, Vice speaking. The Justice Department did not retaliate against an Internal Revenue Service criminal supervisory special agent and whistleblower, as well as his entire investigative team, for making protected disclosures to Congress. He's talking about them talking to Congress, these Republican committees, whose real motive is to try to discredit the DOJ because they're going after Trump. That's what this is really about. All this stuff is a bunch of BS, and it has been revealed to be BS, as we will go through here. Secondly, regarding the uh, accusation about his investigation. In my June 7 letter, I stated, quote, I have been granted ultimate authority over this matter, meaning the prosecution of Hunter Biden, including responsibility for deciding where, when, and whether to file charges and for making decisions necessary to preserve the integrity of the prosecution consistent with the federal law, the principles of federal prosecution, and departmental regulations. I stand by what I wrote and wish to expand on what this means. So in that letter, he made it clear that he was not influenced by anybody and that Merrick Garland did not try to stop him from doing anything. Okay? He had full freedom to charge Trump or Hunter Biden with whatever he wants. Okay, If there were more charges that, that could have been brought reasonably, then he would have done it. And I want to address one more thing. Morons who don't know anything about the law have said, oh, the IRS wanted to put more charges on him. The IRS is not a criminal prosecutorial body. Okay, The Justice Department and its prosecutors are the ones who know the law. IRS agents, I'm sure, know a lot of things. I don't want to insult them, but they're not the prosecutorial body. Okay, Prosecutors know the law, and they're the ones who decide which charges we can file against people, where, where the evidence is strong and where we can actually get get them to plead or to go to trial and win. The prosecutors alone make that decision. The fact that the IRS wanted to put more charges on Hunter Biden mean nothing. Those charges could have been strong or weak. It's up to the prosecutors to decide whether they're strong or weak. Okay, And the prosecutors, in this case David Weiss, who was appointed by Donald Trump, decided that those were not charges that they can prove at trial, which is why he didn't go after uh, Hunter Biden on those charges. So everybody from the left or the right criticizing this deal are idiots who don't know the law. This is a perfectly reasonable deal to reach. I'm not a fan of Hunter Biden or Joe Biden, but I'm telling you guys straight up what the law is. Many other people who didn't pay their taxes for a short amount of time have gotten probation. Regular people have gotten probation. Sometimes the IRS doesn't even go to the DOJ. 
DOJ. They send warnings. They put a lien on people's accounts. They don't do criminal prosecutions on regular people. Okay, for all the whiners out there from the progressive side who say, oh, regular people would have gone to jail. No, that's not true, you dumbbells. You don't know anything. Okay, I have friends who didn't pay taxes for a couple of years. They got a they got a lien put on them until they paid it off, and they were able to get a lawyer, go to the IRS, and get a very reasonable deal to pay off their debts. And they came to an agreement. They explained that there was a reason why they didn't uh, pay the taxes that they they had uh, owed, and the IRS agreed to give him a very fair deal where he would pay back in small increments exactly what he owed. He owed like five thousand something dollars, but uh, he was able to. Uh, pay back that money without being fined, without going to jail for one day. Okay, so this lie that progressives, that I believe that progressives tell about how the IRS goes after regular people every day is a lie. Regular people get deals all the time. And Hunter Biden got a deal because his crimes were not that bad. They were bad because he didn't pay his taxes, which is a crime. And for that crime, he was punished with an acceptable punishment that has been applied to other people as well. Okay, there are many other people who did not go to jail because their crimes were not that bad. So Wesley Snipes did go to prison. Another prominent person, by the way. His crimes were much worse than Hunter Biden's. That's why he went to prison. Every case is judged on its own merits and what the prosecutors can prove at trial. That's what helps them leverage or not leverage a plea deal. They know what the law is and what they, what they can leverage and what they cannot leverage. Okay? So don't listen to stupid people who don't know anything. If the, pro if the Justice Department is doing something a certain way, there's a reason for it. Okay? Try to understand that instead of listening to idiots on the internet who don't know what the hell they're talking about. Continuing on, this is the most important part. As the U.S. Attorney for the District of Delaware, Vice, uh, my charging authority is geographically limited to my home district. That's normal for all U.S. attorneys. If venue for a case lies elsewhere, like in D.C., Common departmental practice is to contact the U.S. Attorney's Office for the district in question and determine whether it wants to partner on the case. If not, I may request special attorney status from the Attorney General pursuant to 28 U.S. Code Section 515. Here, I have been assured that if necessary, after the above process, I would be granted Section 515 authority in the District of Columbia, the Central District of California, or any other district where charges could be brought in this matter. Get that? He's saying that Merrick Garland's office has assured him that if he wants to pursue the case in any other jurisdiction, that he is free to do so. And... That's exactly the opposite of what the whistleblower said. Shapley or Shapley said that Merrick Garland told Vice that you could not pursue the, the prosecution of Hunter Biden in D.C. And also, he I think he also attacked the uh, prosecutor in D.C., the U.S. attorney for D.C., Graves, saying that he was also trying to obstruct it or something. I remember he brought in Graves as well. But anyways, his main accusation was against Attorney General um, Merrick Garland, which I told you guys was 100% BS. OK, no way that's true. And Vice is backing up the DOJ and Merrick Garland position because that's the truth and disproving the lies that are coming forth from the IRS whistleblower. OK, at the appropriate time, I welcome the opportunity to discuss these topics with the committee in more detail and answer questions related to the whistleblower's allegations consistent with the law and department policy. It is my understanding that the Office of Legislative Affairs will work with the committee to discuss appropriate timeline and scope. So according to the uh, prosecutors, the investigation into Hunter Biden is still ongoing and therefore he can't get into the specific details of what happened with the prosecution, which is what uh, the Republicans, including uh, Comer and also Jim Jordan were asking for. You, the DOJ doesn't discuss ongoing investigations other than generalities and also things that will not give away uh, the specific details of the prosecution itself. So these details are have nothing to do directly with the content of the prosecution. They just happen to do with decisions that the attorney general and also vice made. So they're, he's able to talk about that, but he can't get into the specific details of an ongoing investigation. That's been said a million times. So after this letter has come out, we can conclude that my prediction was correct, that Merrick Garland had nothing to do with unduly influencing the Hunter Biden investigation. David Weiss, who was the guy who was doing the investigation, has come out and said that he had ultimate authority to do whatever he wanted and to charge Hunter Biden, according to the evidence and the facts, with whatever charges he wanted. Uh, the attorney general did not get in his way, and he could have prosecuted uh, Hunter Biden in D.C. if he wanted to. He had that authority, but he didn't do it because 
he didn't have enough evidence. That's usually the reason that prosecutors don't charge people. So as of right now, the DOJ and Merrick Garland have been fully exonerated. But if things change in the future and new evidence comes out that shows that they're guilty, I'll be happy to bring that to you guys. And I have no special love for Merrick Garland. So if he did something wrong, I'm going to tell you. But as far as um, right now goes, he hasn't done anything wrong. And the person in question has vindicated him with this letter. That's all I got to say for this video. And I'll see you guys all in my next update as always. Thanks for watching this video all the way to the end. If you want to see more of my videos, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell to keep current with the videos that I'm making. And if you have been watching for a long time and appreciate my content and the time that I put into these videos, please consider supporting me on Patreon. I post all the legal documents I use in my videos on Patreon for my patrons. I also post extra legal content when I don't have time to make videos on Patreon for my patrons. As a patron, you can also contact me directly on Patreon to request a video or ask a question about a relevant topic. These are all privileges that I provide for my patron supporters. With all that being said, I'll see you guys in my next video. Have a very nice day.